So on this particular countryman model, it's equipped with the black package. So what the black package does is it creates black trim around the headlights and makes all the emblems black. So as you can see here, this is the S model. So it has the S emblem and the all four emblem. So the black package really does make a serious impact on the way the car looks, such as the black door handles. As we come around the back, you can see the black trim around the tail lights. The Countryman logo is also in black, along with the Cooper S is in black also. It also comes standard with very, very nice looking black wheels. So that's really the exterior of the Mini. And because Mini, so my BMW, has exceptional quality, very comfortable others, very cold for, I mean, very good for a cold day, and very easy to use controls as well, and unlike most cars, Mini has a start and stop switch, very cool, and a very comfortable leather steering wheel with classical um, speedometers. And very nice and easy to use doors. Also, one of the traits with all the minis that is bigger on the inside than it appears. With also with um very easy to use air conditioning and a very easy to use door with extremely comfortable leather as well for the seats. Now let's take a break from the present and go back to the past. Now this is 1972 Mini 1000. Uh, cars with charm have some surprises. I know. It's so big in here, isn't it? Alec is going to totally deserve the praise he gets. Him and John Cooper with very, very beautiful leathers. Um, and a very nice looking uh, gear shift. Um, very easy to use radio I think and space for whatever you want to put and I'm pretty sure that this and this are for windows unfortunately um, the back seats aren't nearly as spacious so it's pretty hard to get out as demonstrated here by Hudson I should get Great ideas are made during crises, usually. The Mini is an example. Um, during the time it was made, oil was very scarce. Then, Alec Isagonis came up with this. The Mini. And then, one of the many wonders of the world was born. Now that wraps up the 1972 Mini 1000. Now back to the country. Just like Jackson said on the interior, it's way bigger than it looks on the outside. So it appears the trunk isn't very big, but if you reach down here, pull that up, there is a whole extra compartment under the trunk. So the, all in all, the trunk is actually pretty big. Goodbye, everyone.